And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Yasuo. This is going to be our first deck. Uh, I thought I'd call this like Yasuo's Fate, um, but I don't know. We had t Twisted Ezreal, so I got you know. So I think we'll just kind of try to keep that, um, you know, consistent. So we'll have Twisted Yasuo here. Um, so yeah, this is a, a a new Yasuo deck, not using Noxus, now using uh, Bilgewater as our second region. Um, these two, Yasuo pairs well with Twisted Fate uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, one, Twisted Fate's just a really good card. Like, that's what we've kind of learned, is it's just it's just a really solid card. But the, the gold card for Twisted Fate allows us to stun the strongest enemy and deal two to it. So that gets us our stun trigger for Yasuo. So that's another way to stun. Um, and so if you have a Yasuo in play and then Twisted Fate, you stun and do four damage. And I played a game of this deck earlier and got to kill a Quinn with that, with that four damage. They played, like I had turn four Yasuo, they had turn five, they played Quinn, and then I just played Twisted Fate and it killed it. Um, yeah, Yasuo's Fate does sound cool. Um, basically just doing that with the different champions, like whatever's, you know, Maybe like the Twisted Ezreal deck yesterday should have been Ezreal's Fate, Yasuo's Fate. Like that that actually, you know, that does work pretty well. But um, anyway, so yeah, we're, we're playing a whole bunch of spells in here. Um, and kind of the reason why, you know, like we're going to have Blade Twirlers, but, also, but playing a lot of spells for this Eye of the Dragon. This card is awesome, this new Ionia card. Ionia's gotten a bunch of new tools. Um, you know, if you cast two plus spells in a round, then the next round... you the round start you get a nice little draggling here helps you stay alive um also uh iona gets the concussive palm a great tool for a yasuo deck get another unit out there um and then deep meditation if you cast two spells then the next turn this only cast cost two mana so you know we can we can dig and, and like that deep meditation being able to draw two that helps level up the twisted fate so we're going with that and we're going with a couple pick a cards to help us level up Twisted Fate. So a lot of a lot of cheaper spells, basically a lot of things that cost two, three, or four. I guess a lot of stuff that's two and four. But we still we'll still play in some of our top end for Yasuo, two Yones, one Minus Whipfoot. If we're like early on in the game and those are stuck in our hands, or like or like basically we can shuffle those back with the pick a card. Um, we can shuffle back like those those seven and nine drops and then draw our three fleeting. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then um, yeah, then we just got you know got some good removal with like the make it rain we're doing something a little different with this deck also we have two ye, ye be warned to give an enemy vulnerable and we have these sonic waves to give our allies challenger because this deck has so much uh, quick attack you know the blade twirlers quick attack the twisted fate and the yasuo they're all quick attack so they're actually all pretty good at challengers so you know whether we're using the ye be warned um or uh, or the Sonic Wave. And just more ways to cast more spells. Um, but yeah, that's... And then, you know, we have some recall. Uh, some more stun. That's kind of our deck. It's just a... This is going to be like a, a control deck with Yasuo. Should be pretty sweet. So let's go play five games over in Ranked. With Twisted Yasuo. Here we go. No, I didn't really have room for deny. Um, yeah, I I basically just didn't didn't really have room for deny with with all the other things I wanted to play. I feel like there's a lot of uh, now this this is actually a matchup where deny would have been nice. There's a lot of like creature decks running around right now, where you want to just keep on having things that interact with the board. Um. I mean, I like these setup cards. We'll get rid of one Blade Twirler. That's egg. Did it move? We have 18 units and 22 spells. <laughs> and we've seen all units. So far, that's uh, it's probably not what usually happens, but oh well. 
We'll take it. It's probably better than having all spells. I'll play the Blade Twirler instead of Shadow Assassin so that we have Make It Rain available. And I can cast it now. We can wait and cast it. We'll just bank that, ma that mana. That's probably something useful to have against the Spider deck. Probably. Hmm. Maybe better just to do this red card right now and just kill all of these things. It's probably just my best play. Keep, keep them from challenging. I'll just clear a bunch of stuff up. Twisted Fate's really good. Versatility is crazy. Good attack with the Yasuo, I suppose. Kind of want to see what they would do, because see, like, you know, what they would do with uh, if they play with some spiders, maybe we make it rain. Uh, then they have like one toughness. We can attack with Twisted Fate at that point. Hey, Rad. Hey, Gustavo. Doing good. So nine mana, so I can play the Eye of the Dragon and a Steel Tempest and another spell like a Make It Rain. Um. Gotta trust your instincts. Right. No, I don't, Gustavo. I've been playing. Legends are Rune Zero. This game's a ton of fun. If you haven't tried this out. Um A bit toony? Okay. Yeah, no, Lab Works. This this is a very strategic game. Um it is uh, I guess I don't have room for a draggling. So you can only have six creatures out at one time. So I'm not actually gonna get the Eye of the Dragon trigger. So we'll go Shadow Assassin. Yeah, no, this this game's really is uh, like that's. Oh gosh, Ruination! I did not play around that at all. I did not play around that one bit. Wow, that. I thought I was very far ahead, but uh, yeah, now it's even. Ouch. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, this game is really built on. Um, uh, on strategy and uh, your your decisions mattering like you don't you don't like miss land drops or anything like it's a very even game both players get to play creatures every turn um, so it, it really is sequencing and skill a lot of the time that that uh, determines the person that wins and person who loses It is 
Thanks, Mr. Gonzik. Thank you. Uh, there's not there's not a ton of RNG in this game. That's that's something they've stated is that they don't want RNG to be like they want. You know, there there is some RNG. Like there is some like and you know like it it makes for you know fun stories and stuff like that. But they don't want it to be um, something that like determines the competitive scene. They are very. very determined to have it be a skill you know it is a skill game like that's that's the <clears throat> that's their i don't know motto um intentions oh you're gonna try a slot by attack i'll do that for for meme tier monday at some point for sure that card is hilarious. Like, that card I just did, you know, had some RNG in it, deal one damage to three different random enemies. Oh, I guess this card's fleeting, isn't it? Uh, there's just no, there's no reason to cast this. There's no, there's no upside to casting this. The only, like, the downside is that I just use, I just use spell mana. Um... I do really like like this the spell mana part of this game is awesome. Like I, so you can have up to three mana that you haven't used in um like if you you can have up to three mana that you don't use, you can bank it to be able to only cast on spells, not on creatures later on in the game. You know, at, at any point you want. So like this game we have access to twelve mana now. They had three they didn't use either. Your feet were made for Roman and chicken. Set them up. We'll knock them down. Set them up. I'll knock them down. And so that adds a lot of, um, you know, strategy in it too. Like sometimes, like, do you want to? You know, you maybe play a, a two mana card instead of a three mana card because you need that extra mana for the next turn. Or maybe you don't play something because you need to add up the mana for the next turn. Um, it it also means that if you just, you know, the people that just like an aggro deck that just curves out one drop, two drop, three drop, like they're not necessarily winning. If you don't play anything turn one, turn two, because then you can have like six mana worth of removal spells on turn three and catch up. And so it's not just who curves out wins. Alright, so we'll give that vulnerable. Yeah, so it's only usable for spells. And so therefore also spells are, are more expensive in this game compared to other games. Um... You know, like like unsummon is four mana, for example. Wrath of God is nine mana. Um, wow, that Steel Tempest we just drew was perfect to stop this thing. Okay, we drew another one of these things. Um, and so, basically, they need Atrocity to kill me. They need, you know, which is fling. They need to sack this, do seventeen damage. If they do that, I'll lose. This was a 1-1 one, one that gets plus one, plus one for each ally that has died this game. And so they've had 16 things die this game. Um. So yeah, if they have, if they have that card, I'll lose. Oh, okay. Okay, you've mostly just been playing the Elder Scroll Legends? Okay, I gotcha. 
That's a good card. They could be waiting and, and trying to play around Deny and waiting with Atrocity. I really hope not, obviously, because if, if so, I lose. I can't. Um, yeah, learning... Okay, yeah. Yeah, Magic's commitment... Yeah, if you tr tried learning Magic, the com commitment level is huge, yeah. This is a lot easier to learn the magic. There's, a, you know, we're we're at uh, one main set with one um, expansion set. There's around 430, or four, uh, probably around 450, probably around 450-ish cards. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be as nearly that kind of undertaking. All right, basically, I can go for the win with the Concussive Palm, but if I don't win, then I likely lose on the way back. Or I just attack, and we're we're uh, they block here. They go to nine, or sorry, I, they take nine and go to one. Got to trust your instincts. And then I I still stay alive the next turn, and I can kill him the following turn after that. So basically, uh. It's probably not worth going for it all. Relax and strike. Like a gale through the valley. I don't know. This is this play is just not Like if they have atrocity I'm going to lose. This gives them one less draw at a, at atrocity. Like they're going to get another I guess another two draws towards atrocity with my play of not going for it. They get two more draws towards Atrocity, but if they just have removal, I don't lose. Because they de they definitely have spells in hand. Like, like they've done this. This means, like, they have a spell in hand. So if I go f if I go for it and they have, like, some removal that keeps them alive, like, like that probably kept them alive, then now I don't just lose on the other turn. So this is good. So now I don't just lose by with the attack. The attack was going to kill me. What's up, mister? Yeah, the new cards are great. A lot of fun. Okay. So it's about to be my attack. They're at seven. I bounce this. They can go block, block. They take two, four, six, seven. Because of the draggling. All right, so they. All right, so we have lethal here. As long as they don't have a spell, you know, they don't draw a spell. So hopefully they draw a unit. You know, hopefully they don't draw any interaction. I assume I cast. Oh wait, what am I thinking? Yeah, they just replay it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they just replay it. All right, not lethal. <laughs> um,
I guess we play for the long game. Yeah, that, that was a waste of that Will of Ionia. I wish I just didn't do that and just kept the Will of Ionia in hand. Yeah, because, yeah, Will of Ionia beats Atrocity also. Really wish I didn't have, didn't do that. Yeah, it happens. I just, I just, I don't know why. I was just thinking they wouldn't, didn't have the mana to replay that thing. But obviously they did. First game of the day. Well, not really. I've I played a, a bunch today because this is out on mobile now, so it's playing on my phone. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's really slick on the phone. It's just like playing on here. It's it's nice. Uh, still just don't have good attacks. I just don't have good attacks. Yeah, three, three out of four for Will of Ionia. That's bad news. All right, well, if I just pass the turn, I'm going to die. Basically bouncing my Twisted Fate so I get to play it and draw a new card. Um, hoping that we find one of... Like, we have a lot of, like, draw effects. Hopefully we find some of those draw twos. Ugh, I already attacked. Alright, well, I mean, I, I obviously messed this game up. I, I had the tools to win that game, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I did. Well, one, I could have... Uh, no, it wouldn't have been lethal then, but... That, yeah, that Will of Ionia that I cast at, at one point, if I just don't cast that... Um, you know, how we draw the second Will of Ionia, then I get to bounce, they replay, I bounce again, and I can go on the offensive and attack with all that stuff. So, yeah, I messed that up. Um, Swain, Twisted Fate? No, I have not played those two together yet. Um. Yeah, I have not played those two together yet. We will, though. You know. <laughs> Today we're going, yeah, Vladimir with Swain, and I got two Twisted Fate decks with the, you know, Yasuo, and then the the Starlit one. We got uh, has Sejuani, along with Twisted Fate. Don't let the 
happy tales for you. Okay, ready. Want to see these moves up close? Better run. This is risky. If they don't play anything, I'll be sad. They're gonna play something. Could see them playing, you know, like a Draven. Which I probably need to kill Draven. Alright, just a Legion Saboteur. It's called Twisted Fate because he always finds a new way to die. No! Uh, that was my, my plan. My plan went awry. Well, see, that's what I mean. This this game is such a, a decision-making game. You know, like that, you know, my turn three there, what I what I just did cost me this game. I mean, I, I did open myself up to Mystic Shot. They had the Mystic Shot, and this game's over. Yeah, I mean, there's there is nothing I can do. You gotta trust your instincts. They had a they had you know a great hand. That's you know like, that's also why I lost. That's just, you know my 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 mistake. Yeah, I think you'll love it. Lab works. Yeah, give it a try. I think you'll love it. The Ezreal Twisted Fate deck. Playing two drops just just does let them turn on Ezreal, but there's not really an, a different option. We have we have three of the card draw spells, right? Yeah, deep meditation. We have three deep meditations. We haven't seen one yet. It's like a, a you know that's a huge card for us. The draw two. We haven't drawn it yet, though. Try to keep up. I've worked up something special. Think you're fast? Cute.
I gotta get used to this deck hand being in this deck. It's, honestly, I should just pass. I should not have attacked. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just let it die. I think because basically I think I want this retreat to save my twisted fate. Twisted Fate's already great. Like, it doesn't need a better level up. It's already a great card. So I can either draw a card or kill this Zapfin. I think I killed the Zapfin. Okay, so, and give the Blade Twirler plus two plus zero. Not bad either. Well, just let it happen. Don't have a Mystic Shot. You've already played one Mystic Shot. You can't have another. Just let this happen. Let me bounce my Twisted Fate. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Be happy. Our return is fleeting. It will be gone after this round. I can't do anything anyway. Gonna try to use this Yibi Warren. Now they're using that removal on that thing and not on my Twisted Fate. And I still get to do another stun, level up Yasuo some more, and draw a card. We still have not drawn Deep Meditation. Come on. Deep Meditation. Deep Meditation. Darn. The res is at 2 out of 8. Yeah, uh, yeah, Daniel, yeah. Uh, third deck today, Starlit Fate. That's going to be our Starlet Seer Twisted Fate deck. Yep. Yeah, Daniel, did you did you put the, the suggestion on YouTube? So I took yours. I did, I did modify it. I did change some things around, but um, yeah, I'm excited to, to play that. That's a great draw. Can protect Twisted Fate by bouncing it.
just keep on trying to kill my twisted fate. Unfortunately, I don't have like another shadow assassin that we could put in for one mana. That would have been great. Never lost a fair game. All right, try to kill their twisted fate. Very nice. We could shuffle. We could probably shuffle the make it rain back in. Uh, let's do the attack first. Yeah, Twisted Fate dies to Twisted Fate. Yeah, we've been just using the gold card this whole time. We've leveled up Yasuo. We've killed three different things with gold cards. They've had three different tutus that we've killed with gold cards. Get excited, discard, get excited. Discard, get excited. Hey, there's a deep meditation. Now we're talking. All right, see if lab works. These retreats have been pretty good. That's a good combo. <laughs> you return in an eye of the dragon and it costs you zero mana. That's a good combo. That's a pretty good combo. Man, this is this has been really impressive. This game, we are just completely out grinding them with, you know, really with the help of Twist. Like Twisted Fate was incredible, but now now we get a leveled up Yasuo, um, and it's just like, what what are they supposed to do? I got eight mana. I can still do both of these. Um, let's try. William first. I mean, it's better to play Concussive Palm, but I'm going to do William in case I do Concussive Palm and then they use Instant Speed Removal to kill Yasuo. Well, that's not even possible. They're not going to have Instant Speed Removal to kill Yasuo. Though. So we're at a healthy life total. Ezreal's not leveled up yet, and they don't really have the ability to play enough spells to kill me anyway. Um, so lots of ways to kill that thing. Let's go with... And we could go Yone, kill it. Let's go Concussive Palm, because so, it doesn't spend as much mana. We get the 3-2 also. So that's cool. Yeah, Make It Rain triggers Ezreal for each, each time it hits a creature. It, to target.
So fast aggro is kind of tough. That's that's a tough matchup. Like the second deck we played. The first deck we played, I think I should have won. I think I messed that up. The second one, the, the fast aggro is tough. And now the third game, you know, we played against a slower deck and really got to outgrind him. All right, let's see how we do against this deck that goes very big. Get rid of this, this. Get rid of Yasuo for now. Just want like card draw, you know, card advantage and things like that. Cheaper threat. Okay, well, I guess we'll just draw Yasuos. I would have mulliganed Make It Rain, Concussive Palm, and Yasuo. I would have mulliganed all of these cards. And I mulliganed Sonic Wave. These. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is this was not ideal. <laughs> we just drew all the cards I mulliganed. I just mulliganed these three. Those are our first three draws after our, our, opening, our opening four. Oh, this is not ideal at all. Yeah, I'd like to say this this could have been worse, but I don't think it could have. Um, wait, what if I? I can't. All right, I guess once I put Twisted Fate out there, I couldn't pull it back. I was thinking maybe I should have waited a turn so I had William to protect it, but I guess William, like they're playing, gonna play huge creatures, so William's good at bouncing those. Yeah, so I probably should have led with Yasuo. Well, that was a slow draw. Not ideal. These draw steps, not I feel. spending two cards to kill their spider and draw a card. These two cards weren't... They're not very good. And so, kind of cycling them. Once they start playing big creatures, though, I will have ways to bounce them, and there we go. Why? <laughs> Deep meditation. You're always a little late. Always a little late. My day is going great. Thank you. Hope yours is going great also. Let's see. Yasuo is only at one out of five. Oh, no, they're going to... Oh, why don't I ever play around um, Ruination? That is 
a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. So I'm attacking for 13. We'll put them down to 5. I can do this thing to do 2 more damage. To put them down to 3. Alright, we'll do this thing. Kill their blocker, put them down to 4. Oh, wait, no, because they just gained a life. Not four. They never gets any lighter. Mmm. Well timed if brittle steel. Gain four life, brittle steel. So is that three out of five right now? Need to keep retreat and oh they don't have the Ionia card they're not playing Ionia I'll just let that happen Awesome. All right, two and two. This deck does seem really sweet. I like this Twisted Yasuo deck. Again, I feel bad that I lost that first game. I really, I had the tools. I had the tools, I wasn't focusing. It's the first game. I walked right into a ruination and still had enough card advantage to win afterwards, and I didn't. All right, Jinx Draven. This is the the kind of, like, there's been a lot of aggro, and the, the aggro is what I'm worried about with this deck. I'm worried about aggro. Hey, Matoto. Worried about stabilizing against aggro. <laughs> All right, well, the nine drop's not going to do anything, but we have the pick a card that can... Shuffle of the way, I suppose. I can do this. Boom Crew Rookie is so good. Boom Crew Rookie, why are you so good? Each 
do this one because it has the attune. Let's get that extra spell mana. Next turn, I do have the opportunity to play two spells. If I want to do make a rain, pick a card. Which... I mean, my other option is just Blade Twirler, but yeah, we'll just do this. Come on, don't. Just play, please play something. Oh, that was risky. A one of Spirit's Refuge help? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. No. My Eye of the Dragon. Ugh. The dragon was going to make the 2-1 the with Lifesteal. Man, both of these, these two aggro matchups have been really similar. So basically this is four mana Arachnoid Sentry. Alright, it's done that. Get a 3-2. We shuffled that Swift Foot back, but we ended up drawing it. What's up, Faint? Just like last aggro match, though, a very key Mystic Shot on my 2-mana 1-3 after I blocked a Boom Crew Rookie. Um... So either go Double Blade Twirler or Twisted Fate. I'm going to go Double Blade Twirler. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. This is going to be difficult to play Mina Swiftfoot anyway. We have the card advantage if we can stay alive. Bounce Draven. Pump these things up. Draven I, that card is so good in these these aggro decks, that Noxion. Noxion Favor, or whatever. Whatever that card was they just played, that card is amazing. Noxion Fervor. Yeah, Jinx is their second champ. Yeah, they're Draven Jinx. Ooh. 
In case they have another Noxian Fervor, I will have Will of Ionia. Um... So I could, I could bounce Boom Crew Rookie, but then if I do, they could empty their hand by using Spinning Axe. But... I could bounce the Jinx. Then, I don't know why. Trust your instincts. I think we just draw the two. Let's see what happens. Those don't those don't really help. Doesn't really help either. I love a taste of the action. Okay. Doesn't matter. Did have just a, a wonderful hand. Did have a wonderful hand. You know, one drop, boom, Kuroki. And then one drop plus the Mystic Shot that was so clutch. And then Draven. More removal spells, Jinx. Yeah, I mean, that's just... Draw it up. That's what you want. All right, so yeah, so we only went 2-3, but I, I felt like this deck was really good. <laughs> um, if the, those aggro decks have those kind of hands, uh, like they did, and that Noxion Fervor, that card was incredible. Uh, even there, like, we were even looking fine until that Noxion Fervor, even after all that other stuff. So I don't think that, like, we're... Like, I don't think that, like, this... Like, you have no chance against aggro. I think aggro, you're probably, like you know, 60-40 down, or maybe even 55-45. Like, I think there is a lot of good stuff here against aggro. It's just, uh, like, you know, like Twisted Fate uh, can do a lot. You do have good blocking and two drops, and, you know, Eye of the Dragon can get you some stuff. Um, but, yeah, one... Uh, yeah, maybe one... Um, Where is it at? One Spirit's Refuge? Maybe one Spirit's Refuge in here. Maybe be over a Sonic Wave. Um, I could definitely see doing that. Over a Sonic Wave or a Ye Ye Ben Warned. Ye Ben Warned looked okay. I looked, it looked fine. The game that I played um, off stream, I had like turn one, I did nothing, of course. Turn two, I got the attack token. I played a, a blade word, uh, blade twirler. They had turn one, fleet feather tracker, and then I just ye be warned it, and then killed it on turn two with my blade twirler. That was really nice. Um, yeah, that that mystic shot they had to kill my eye of the dragon. That that was a killer. Um, but yeah, I really like this deck. You know, like that first one again, definitely couldn't have done better. But this deck had so much card advantage and had such a good late game. Twisted Fate, Yasuo, both looked great. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff to like with this deck. I, Ionia, Ionia gained a bunch. I think we're going to kind of find out over time that a lot of these Ionia cards, um, you know, especially Eye of the Dragon and Deep Meditation, especially those two, are going to be are going to see a ton of play. Like, they're going to be kind of everywhere. This is kind of sad that this one's an epic, because this is going to be in all sorts of Ionia decks. So that, you know, it's a little harder to craft because it's an epic. You don't really see two mana epics. There's, like, only one other two mana epic, I think. Why I over one drop a tune is the HP worth losing the speed? Yeah, this this round start trigger is is ridiculously good. That's why we're playing this over the one drop of tune. You know, like getting drag lanes. 
is amazing. Yeah, Twisted Yasuo felt... So yeah, Twisted Yasuo felt really good. Um, we did lose to two aggro decks that had great, great hands. And, um, you yeah, know, that, that's just going to happen. Like, they had their in their top 10 to 20% of hands, like, powerful hands. Um, and so we lost those two. We The other loss was one that I, I made a couple misplays. I didn't play around a Ruination. And then even after that, um, I made a Will of Ionia misplay. I basically discarded a Will of Ionia, and that cost me that game. Um, so there, there really could have been a 3-2 instead of a 2-3. But yeah, the deck felt great. Um, all right, but anyway, there we go. That's that's Twisted Yasuo. Um, uh, well, uh, I, yeah, I really like this deck. I'll probably play this again on Saturday on our 12-hour stream. Um, yeah, we're doing, so we're doing the 12-hour stream on Saturday. So I'm going to be playing 10 different decks on Saturday. So I'm going to be replaying some of the decks. And I think I'm going to replay this deck. So I, I liked it a bunch. Um, but uh, those of y'all watching later on at YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. Um, yeah, and uh, everything like that. But thank you so much for watching some Twisted Yasuo. And I will see you for the next video.